don't think people want to stay in an abusive relationship. It's just something I think they choose to be in. I mean, when you're with someone for so long and you get to know them, you know, the beginning of the relationship is always going to be like that honeymoon stage. And, you know, you don't want, ever want that to end. But after, you know, a couple months and things start getting real, you get to like really see who the person really is. You're still hoping that this person is the person you thought they were, you know. And I think that's why people stay in the relationship, because they choose to not see the reality of the situation. They don't want to be without a relationship. When, when you're first at the beginning stages of you know, starting out, the things are going to be great. But you no know, reality sets in and people might still be hanging on to that fantasy or that hope that this person is who you thought they were versus who they are, who they really are. And I mean, if, I mean, from my experience, like I, I think going through that pain is it very important in learning what you want out of, out of a relationship. Because if you never get hurt, then you're never gonna know, you know exactly what you don't like or what you like. I think they feel trapped or they feel as if no one else can replace that person that they built that bond with maybe. Or some are just scared that if, even if they left they'd get hurt. Because at the end of the day, they're still thinking it's going to work and think that they can make each other happy somehow and realize, and won't realize that the unhappiness is going to always be, I don't know, it's going to always be there because they don't, maybe they don't, you know, work. Or they don't think anybody else is worthy enough or they're worthy enough for somebody else because of the abusive that they go through. Some people just don't know how to escape. When you're unhappy, you know, after you're doing something for so long, you might think it's other, everything around you that's, you know, maybe making y'all not happy, but it might just be the fact that y'all are just not happy. But don't people don't look like that. They look at other things trying to make it work. Cause they, you know, they hear everybody else say, oh, you guys are cute, but they don't have a real struggle. Usually because um, they're content or they feel like that's their only option and it'll be too much stress to find a different relationship and they become so like used to the environment that they're in that that's what they're accustomed to. So they don't even feel like it's wrong because they've grown used to it. I don't know, yeah, I don't think they know how to get out of it. Or they feel trapped and they feel bad for like their significant other, I think. And maybe they feel like they kind of know that person, so they like know what happened and like why they're abusive and why they're, like why they treat them bad or whatever. And like, so they feel like they understand that person, so they have to, like, they feel like they're the only person who can who deal with that. I think they stay in them because they probably grew or came into a good spot where, or they've been in a, a, a relationship long enough to not just want to give up on it. So they don't really know any better than to just stay in the relationship. They don't really know that they're the real danger of it if you guys are gonna pursue kids or actually have a family then that can be a big problem as opposed to just being in a relationship so they don't know any better in my opinion well i think that people are just naive and they don't know any better they just because when they think that they really love somebody, they try to overlook all their problems and their flaws to just stay with that person because they think like, oh, this person loves me and I love him too. And I'm gonna do whatever it takes to just, just to make it work. I think they stay in this type of fantasy to where they think that they're doing something wrong it's not the person that they're with who's like abusing them or like treating them bad. The reason why people stay in unhealthy and abusive relationships is that they're afraid to sever the tie. As in like, if I was to separate myself from, let's say, my significant other, then she might retaliate and do something back. 
No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like. I think people stay in an abusive or unhappy relationship um, because maybe they think that they could change the relationship somewhere down the line. Well, coming from my perspective, if I was verbally or emotionally or physically abused, I would not work the relationship out. Who wants to be abused or verbally assaulted or abused in any type of way that hurts somebody and also can um, sometimes lead people to commit suicide? It's possible and it's happened before. Hey. Um, for a girl perspective, um, I think they should not keep going with the relationship because um, that really does damage to people. It hurts them morally and mentally and affects the future a lot too. So, yeah. I personally wouldn't work that thing out. If a girl was hitting me and thinking she could talk to me crazy, it's not working out. Because if she has no respect and thinks she's you know, hard enough to try and hit me and talk to me crazy, no respect. It's no what kind of what kind of person loves somebody that hits you. I'm not talking about like a kid getting hit, but you know, mm -hmm. verbally abuse. You know, that's two different things. Even emotionally, that's you can get emotionally abused. That's that's torture. Sometimes some people eat them up the side. I would not be with that person. <laughs> There's too many people in this world. Well, like seven billion people live here. Like one person shouldn't stop a show. Like there's always somebody out there that can treat you better, and you shouldn't settle. Like you're still young, even if you're older, you still have time. You know what I mean? This just you just have well, time. Not I used to be like, if like a guy put his hands on me, then I would just leave. But I think I think it's harder. It's easier said than done than just to leave right after. Cause then. Cause then like when they do that to you, you get like scared or whatever and then they'll come back to you like, oh I'm sorry, like, you know, they'd be all sweet to you and shit, like, um, <laughs> they're just nice to you and I don't think it's easy to just leave right after, even though I would want to, it's a lot harder to just do it. Yeah. I would definitely try to work things out and if it couldn't get any better, I would definitely make it known and try to get out of the relationship as fast as possible. Because from my experience, abusive relationships are usually relationships that have some time on them, like a few years, and it's kind of hard to just let go of somebody out of the blue over three years of doing good if they start being abusive. Because I'm pretty sure if they're abusive from the get-go, they probably wouldn't be together after a few years. So in my opinion, I think abusiveness comes from wanting to control the significant other and that's usually at a point in the relationship where they've been established as a relationship, as a couple, wanting to make plans and it's a little, it's kind of hard just to let that go, that side of their life go. From personal experience, I just know that you're better than that and <clears throat> like at that time you may think like, oh like this is the person that I want to be with, that I want to spend the rest of my life with and people change and you think you can change people but you can't change people and they're always even though if they try to change for the better they're not and they're always just going to do what makes you unhappy so there's just no need to settle for less and just I would just end it right then and there. It's a relationship I kind of depend if I'm going to abusing her if she's going to abusing me um, in my case if I'm going to abusing her you know it's not good she, would, she shouldn't be able to tolerate it so separating our ways would be the way to go it's just when you're committed already and it's just not easy to sever a tie when you're committed to each other for a long time already but if it's a, um, she was abusing me I can't really see that happening but I'd probably do the same